This video would demonstrate how we can use TensorFlow, the deep learning neural network library, together with the Spring Cloud Dataflow framework and runtime service that allows you to orchestrate data pipelines and build real-time data analytics. We would show how we can load pre-trained TensorFlow models into uh, Spring Cloud data flow pipelines and use those models to perform real-time analytics on the streamed data. In particular, we're going to demo, to, to, to the demo show how we can analyze uh, live to its stream data using uh, and perform sentiment analysis on the text content text that is being streamed. For this, we're going to leverage this uh, uh, TensorFlow convolutional network, uh, neural network model built from this project. Uh, the, uh, yeah, if you follow the, the steps here, you can uh, create the model and build it, and uh, finally you have to export it into protobuf format. And that's the input for our Spring Cloud Dataflow processor. The TensorFlow processor Spring Cloud Dataflow expects uh, a lot of uh, uh, pre-trained uh, uh, TensorFlow models. Uh, the input of this processor is the key value that represents the input for the models and the output is uh, Spring Cloud data, Spring uh, Cloud Stream tuples uh, that contains byte buffer encoded result of the evaluation. Uh, the basic model, the TensorFlow processor, can easily be extended so that you can have a customized input and output converter that better fit with the type of data that is being analyzed and the processor the Twitter sentiment processor does exactly this. It, it has a customized input and output converter that can convert the input JSON tweet messages into a format that is recognized by the sentiment analysis model and in turn convert the output by buffer tuple into another simplified JSON message that contains the result sentiment plus the original text that has been produced. Um, we are going to use a standalone Spring Cloud Dataflow installation that uses uh, Kafka binding and uh, Redis for the analytics uh, uh, syncs. Start the server and we would try to use mostly the uh, web console to perform. First, we need to load, so this is a fresh uh, new server started, we need to load the default uh, modules for the Kafka binder. They are here and we need to add the, the additional tweet the sentiment processor. I have it pre-built on my local file system. Let's Twitter sentiment, just verify that the, the model is available. Oh, now we can go and build our stream. Tweets is, we're going to use the out of the box Twitter stream input to stream uh, the stream data, to connect to, to Twitter and uh, load data. Next, because the sentiment uh, analysis uh, model is trained only for English uh, content, we have to filter out any non-English tweet messages. I'm going to use the JSON pat expression. And filter out any, any tweets that doesn't have English language. In the tab. Then we're going to perform the sentiment analysis evaluation and the output would be put in the log. Let's configure the Twitter sentiment analysis module. As I said, it expects the pre trained uh, uh, TensorFlow model. I have one 
upload it on this location. It's a few hundred megabytes, so usually it takes some time to download and initialize. The model expects uh, uh, output that output soft max. Uh, if you wonder how this, uh, where this come from, just uh, check the original uh, project that Twitter sent him and see in how it's built. And the uh, uh, vocabulary, this is word vocabulary, is another artifact that is produced uh, while training the model. We have one here. We have it initialized. Okay, this first stream looks good. Let's create two uh, analytical syncs. One that would count the hashtags. Tags count. Which would tap the input to it at filter level and uh, direct it to the field value counter. And we're going to use the uh, entities hashtags text this from the original uh, JSON tweets and let's call this uh, hashtags discount hashtags uh, next sentiment count we're going to create yet another account sync that actually uh, visualize to visualize the sentiment uh, Analysis result to it. In this case, with Twitter, we're going to tap the sentiment module, the output of the sentiment, Twitter sentiment module, into the field. And we're going to use the, the sentiment module produces a JSON message that contains the sentiment, the original text, the language, and the idea of the original. To its, uh, to its messages. So we're interested in the sentiment tag and let's call this counter looks like we have the entire model right. Now let's deploy it. Let's first create it. And deploy the, the three pipelines. For the first one, we need to provide the credential to it, Twitter credentials, and here uh, it, you have to register to, to, to you know, create a developer Twitter account and create an app which would provide you the uh, uh, credential like this. You have to take them yeah, and substitute the XFX here and copy this string into the into the deployment properties uh, field. I would use uh, my own for this purpose, my own credentials. And now we can deploy the other the remaining. It doesn't require any additional properties. The, the, the first stream actually consumes tweet messages, filter out non-English messages, evaluate the sentiments of the text, and put the result, uh, which is simplified JSON message, into the log file. So it would be interesting to monitor the log file to see whether we would receive the expected uh, output. And here at the runtime, we can see the status of our deployment. As I said, let's see what is the content of the log file. We're still waiting the all streams to be deployed. The sentiment is still being deployed. Done. And here it is. Apparently we have some uh, uh, incorrect messages and this is the result. But for most of the streams you see that we get the 
the simplified string as I mentioned it contains the sentiment uh, type the original text in the messages the the original ID and the language of the message so good next let's see that uh, if we can build analytical view for the two counters that we've created first the value value count value value so first let's see the uh, sentiment chart okay slightly moves this is the overall view and let's create another one for the second counter that actually evaluates the hashtags in this incoming message those incoming messages This concludes the, the, the video. As you saw, we created a pipeline that consumed Twitter's messages, uh, pre filtered in non English, uh, filters out the non English messages, performed the Twitter sentiment analysis using the TensorFlow model created for this project, and uh, uh, logs the result in the log file. In the meantime, we've tapped the the output of the, ten, the Twitter sentiment is being sent to uh, sentiment count and analytics uh, sync and visualized at real time here.